I want to show you something, man. Look at this. All right. Now, what I have right here is a piece of paper that I just used to wipe my ass with. Just took a shit, came out. Here's the shit stain right here. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to make a movie based on this shit stain. This is my script right here. But wait, hold on. There's more? There's more. I, I'm, I'm thinking about trying to get George Clooney's people on the phone mm. and getting him to star in shit stain the movie, man. You don't say. I, I, I do say. You know why? why? Because apparently every other goddamn Oscar <laughs> winner in Hollywood is making shit stain movies too. <laughs> Woo! Fucking Adrian Brody. I, 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 uh, what, who else was it? We, I, I, we just got the... Everyone! I, I'm so mad right now, Coles. <laughs> I just got through talking to these people. Uh -huh. Just they're hard-headed. I just got through talking to these actors in Hollywood. I said, watch what you're going to be in, especially, especially <laughs> these movies that are based on uh, sketch comedies. Yeah. Watch that shit. <laughs> and what do you do? They just released this shit with Adrian Brody in it. I told you, Corey, why are we wasting our time here talking about movies when we can be making them, especially when they're coming straight from our ass? But why? I, apparently, why? We're, we're in the wrong business, man. We are. <laughs> I mean, you tell me you can just make a turd of a film and get anybody to be oh, in it? Oh, yeah. Hey, what, a, what the fuck are we doing wrong? It's the wonderful world we're living in now, my friend. I like, you know what? wonderful world. Nothing but opportunity from the, to the left of you, to the right of you. Fuck, you know to what? To the bottom of your ass. I'm saying it right now. Fuck all you Hollywood actors. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you all. You like to go around and act like you untouchable. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm above this and that. Yeah. Oh, I can't talk to people. I'm so special. Yeah. Oh, look at my bodyguards. Running oh, around with the Oscar in hand. Oh, going, yeah. oh, I can do whatever look at my I want big, now. Oh, yeah. Look at my big house <laughs> yeah. with the security gate on and shit. Look at my shit. Look uh, yeah. my shit. I'm untouchable. <laughs> yeah. But the moment somebody puts yeah. a little old shitty ass <laughs> script in front of you, like, I'll take it. I'll, I'll be in it. Do it. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. And, oh. and right when you think, mm -hmm. right when you think it can't get any worse, we saw movie 43. This is what we're talking about. Just saw movie 43. Had a ton of A-list actors in there. Oh, yeah. a, a lot of A-list actors that were up for Academy Awards. Oh, they just fucking, Ooh. oh, man, they just, they came out just ambushed poor old, uh, what's the Wolverine? Wolverine, oh, yeah, yeah. Hugh, Hugh Jackman, Jackman. no. That poor motherfucker, that's, yeah, that was it. That, yeah, as soon as, I mean, as soon as you saw him in Movie 43, you saw that guillotine blade just come right down on his ass. Boom. Oh, yeah. That's it. They he said, ain't winning shit They now. said, you know what? We didn't think you going to win before, but fuck it. You ain't going to win now. <laughs> no. we, uh, it was almost as, as if the makers of Movie 43 said, man, we got to bet on you to lose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to make sure of that. And Hugh Jackman should have seen that shit coming like Hurricane Katrina. And we should have seen that shit. And we treated Movie 43 almost like it was a terrorist attack where a lot of people died. We say, man, oh, yeah. let, us, let us remember this day and hope that this never Ever, <laughs> ever, ever happens again. again. Let, we, like we always say, that eagle came over our heads, that, that American flag was flown. We said, man, let us <laughs> never forget. Yeah, never let, forget. Let us never forget M43 Day. <laughs> I, saw that, I saw that bloody movie theater seat. <laughs> never forget the release date. Yeah. And I'll be goddamn if not a month later, mm. a month later, <laughs> this shit comes out. And we said, you know what? Yeah. Okay, inappropriate comedy. Another sketch comedy movie that is supposed to be even more crude mm -hmm. than movie 43. Oh. And we said, you know what? That's fine. But that's okay because it's made by the ShamWow guy, Vince Offer. <laughs> Real name, Vince Schlemiegel or something. Vince, What's don't know what the fuck I'm doing in movies. Vince, <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Offer Shlomi. <laughs> Shlomi? Shlomi made this? Shlomi, oh, yeah. Shlomi. Oh, okay. Uh, this is a Shlomi production. <laughs> and, and we said, hey, man, you know what? It's the ShamWow guy, the, the slop chop guy. You know, ain't nobody. <laughs> How bad can it be? Yeah. For a guy who sells fucking choppers? <laughs> On infomercials. How bad can his movie really be? It's a guy that sells rags and fucking graters <laughs> yeah. at 2 o'clock in the morning. As we said, you know what? He sells shit to chop lettuce with. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And we said, well, you know, he made a movie, but... Big deal. Even yeah. if it gets released, it ain't going to be out that long because no. no matter how many people go see this, which is not going to be many, well, at least you didn't go and get any A list stars to be, oh, shit, <laughs> is that Adrian Brody? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the thing with this movie. I inappropriate comedy was not released. 
It fucking escaped from the ass of movie 43. <laughs> That's what happened. Oh. Nobody released this. Nobody knew about it. This it just, movie. It just popped out of the blue. It came from out of nowhere. I want people to quote this right here. Movie 43 was a fucking demon of a bad movie. <laughs> this, this, this right here is the turd demon spawn that came out the ass of movie 43. You, you know, right when I thought we cut the head off of movie 43, I, it, I, inappropriate comedy yeah. spouted three other heads. <laughs> like, oh, no. <laughs> we can't oh my, get away from this bitch. Oh, my fucking God, man. Whoa. I'm, whoa. I'm, right when I thought nothing could make me any angrier. <laughs> and, I'm, and really, I say this every time. I say this every time. Man, I'm joking. Cause I said first, I said first, if I, man, if I, if I see Freeberg and, and, and Seltzer. Seltzer walking down the street, I'm gonna beat the shit out of the motherfuckers. Now you know I'm not gonna do it, but it's just to express my disdain of those directors. Yeah. But then I saw movie 43 mm. and the, and the, and the, and the, Fer the Ferrelli brothers, or Ferrelli brothers, goddamn, I can never get it right. Yeah. Fuck it, I don't yeah. like them right now. Anyway. But I said, man, those motherfuckers, I didn't think it could get any worse. But when I see them, mm -hmm. when I see them, <laughs> boy, I'm going to give it to them. Now, granted, if I saw Freesberg and Seltzer, I'd be like, I'm going to leave them alone. I just don't like them. If I saw the, uh, the, the Fairley brothers, I would, I would actually have to pull them over and say, man, what, you, what are y'all doing? Corey, Corey, I am running out of ink right now for my pen. For all the apology letters, I'm writing Freeberg and Salsa right now. I was like, just when I thought I saw the worst uh, uh, that, that a comedy could possibly give me, wow, I, wow. I the, know. The you know in the 21st century, at least Freeberg, right where you think people have learned a lesson on what not to do. Ain't learned a fucking thing. Never heard of the word learning. I never, never heard of it. You motherfuckers in Hollywood just sell your mother for a fucking nickel. I know shit. They are rewriting the book on bad films. Oh, right now, it must be. We are living in that age right now, Corey. They are rewriting the book. Seriously, th this and now we get this, and this guy offers Shlo Off Shlomo, Shlomo, yeah. what is Shlomi. <laughs> Shlomi, Shlomaga, how about got to This is a guy that I would seriously, I would seriously have to restrain myself from not picking up a rock and just chunking it at his ass. <laughs> and I'm being dead serious <laughs> about this because this movie, inappropriate comedy, not only is it not, it is painfully, and you hear this all the time, but I'm being serious. This is, it is painfully unfunny because the things that this guy does to be funny are things that he just throws up in the air. Mm -hmm. Just as, I mean, this is the kind of guy that if he's at a party, he wouldn't shut up. He would just keep talking and keep talking until he felt like he hit on something funny. It, this, it, it, he's the guy who tells a joke and halfway through telling it forgets the joke. And he, but he keeps talking, thinking that he's funny. Mm -hmm. This is a guy that is a, everybody has his friend. This is a guy that that keeps talking, keeps talking, thinks he's funny, and everybody is just groaning. And no matter how many times you tell him to shut up, he just keeps going. Oh yeah. And yeah. you know what? And the only way to get him to shut up is to give him polite after. I mean, is to, to give him polite laughter. But you know what? When you do that. He thinks he that just that, that fuels him. Yeah, if if there was only someone to fuel, to, if some kind of if there only you know I'm looking for the fuel. That's that's the thing. What to set him on fire? I, I'm looking for the fuel. Yeah, to set him on fire and to wonder like who in the hell actually went out to see this movie to give this guy any kind of credibility to make keep making films? Because I mean, apparently this isn't the first crazy ass comedy he's ever done. Uh, I, he did one called it. What was it? It was called a, a whole underground comedy. Under, yeah, an underground comedy. And I'm just wondering, man, did, did this guy self finance this movie himself? He because, did. Because I know a movie studio couldn't. Have. No, he he did. What what this movie is about? It's first of all, you're the one that told me it was made in 2010. Yeah. And and, mm -hmm. and it makes it does the premise of it doesn't even really make any sense. This this guy, he, what he has done here is that he has made an excuse, several excuses to put. S many, 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 not only unfunny, immature, childish jokes out there, mm -hmm. but downright offensive. Now, I don't care what you say about PC and all, because that's what this, that's what he thinks he's doing. He's saying, mm -hmm. you know, I, I want to go against what's PC out there. And he's done it so much to the point that he is truly being offensive. What you have here is that this was made in 2010, and Vince Offer is a guy. Now, swear to God, this doesn't, this doesn't make any sense, mm -hmm. but he lives in a sewer where... He takes out his, 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 his tablet, and he has all these different apps that he presses. And each one of them is 
one of the sketch comedies that we get. Except on this app that he has, you see about 20 different apps. He keeps he keeps pressing the same four or five. He keeps pressing the wrong one. Yeah, <laughs> to get to the funny one. Like any other yeah, would yeah. be yeah. any better. Mm-hmm. But the other thing is that the one the, the ones that he keeps that he keeps pressing, the reason why they're offensive is because th- they either rely on on racist or homophobic jokes, mm-hmm. and they're very immature. There's not you and I look. We do this every week mm-hmm. where we we make jokes that are about every race about every sexuality about about both genders we, we nothing is off limits to us and we say it's satire but usually our jokes they last very short and we and sometimes we and, remind and, people hey we're joking we're, just, we're, we're, yeah we, we like we, to put out we, there there's some self-awareness well yeah i mean and, and, but you know i think our audience and even the way we present those is at least you know it's it, you, you could just look and see through it that yeah we're fucking we're just making jokes we ain't going you know what stay the fuck away from black people because those motherfuckers will rob you. Oh. You know, hey, you know, next time you see a black person on the street, throw them a piece of chicken so they'll leave you alone. But this is you what, know? okay, so to give you an example of, what, of what's going on here, of, of why this is so offensive, two of the apps that keep appearing, are the, why am I even calling them apps? To keep, two of the sketches that keep appearing that they are so proud of because the jokes go on and on. One is... is uh, The Amazing the, Racist. The Amazing Racist, and the other is... Black ass. Black ass. And then the homophobic part comes in pretty heavy with two things. One is the the porno review and flirty hairy. And black ass is just a bunch of thuggish black guys, black guys yeah. who pretty much play off of every racial stereotype of black man. A black man doing what, you know, the normal jackass crew would end up doing it, but they're bringing their own but blackness to it. But they're doing it, yeah. yeah. For, I like, mean, like thing, thing. jousting big black dicks in shopping carts. And saying like things that, yeah. like, hey, man, I need my money. I got I, my welfare check didn't come in. Man, I, 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 got, to, I got to get paid. Uh, and then, it seems like lines that they ripped off of Hollywood Shuffle. And, and, I mean, just when Hollywood Shuffle was making all, their own spoof about, you know, how black cinema is portrayed by Hollywood. I mean, they're doing this, but in the worst way. But, to, yeah, I know that. I, and I know that he's supposed to be pre- presenting this as satire, but it's, it's not. It's not. You're relishing in this. The other thing that he does is the amazing racist. And this is this is the oh, man, this is, this is the one that I really want to slap the shit out this guy because the guy named Ari Shafir who wants to be Sasha Baron Cohen so, wants to be him so bad. So fucking bad, yeah. I, I'm, I'm surprised he didn't, like, staple a picture of Sasha Baron Cohen. I'm he, surprised he didn't staple a, a picture of Borat on top of his he's, face. He's <laughs> tall, mm-hmm. he's, and, and he's Jewish, and he's even got facial hair mm. like Sasha Baron Cohen. Well, fucking don't know how to shave, yeah. And, and it's, he does something about a black joke, and that's whatever, but, man, there's a part in here where he goes on about Asian stereotypes, and... He, People, you tell me this is funny. This is just childish. These are so uh, these are so obvious jokes. He's doing a, a he's at a driving school for Asians. He's doing a driving school for Asians because get you it? need to teach him how to drive because Asians can't drive. A- yeah, you now, get it. We spend about a, we spend over five minutes with this guy in a car with two Asians saying, "Hey, man." Open your eyes. You can't see where you're going. Open your eyes. Here, let me tape your eyes open a little bit more. Oh, hey, slow down. You, slow down. You're going too fast. Oh, and the guy's like barely going five miles. Oh, yeah. Hour. All right. All right. Do you, hey, he's driving, a, he's driving a, a little Asian girl around and saying, hey, uh, do you give a massage? You know, that kind of massage. Or, hey, you know, when you got to this country, were you aware of our driving laws? And uh, uh, what, what was the other one that he did that was so, that was so bad? Oh, oh, where, he oh taped, there, where he taped the Asian oh, guy's eyes oh, open I while that he was already. driving. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's when he's like, oh, there's a dog. Pull over. You want that? Do you want that? Yeah. I mean, are you hungry? It's just one stereotype and after another, yeah. and this is this is shit that not a, not not even a racist would do. An eight year old racist would do that. <laughs> it's an eight year old learning to be racist. This is the yeah. kind of this is the kind of shit that if a racist saw this, mm-hmm. he would look at somebody and say, "Man, grow up." Yeah, this is something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is something an asshole would do. Period. Yeah, asshole. Jesus, yeah. man, a ra- uh, you could be around with a clansman. A clansman be like, yeah. "Man, you know, we're, we're a little more sophisticated than that." And now. what's and what's even stranger is that you know these are actors who he's you know who he's pulling this shit on. They're not. It's not like it's it's not as it's nowhere near as as creative and crazy as Borat. I mean, he's doing this with actors who have already like established comedy shows on YouTube. I mean, one of the Asian girls that he's talking through while well, during the driving school. I'm like, oh, I've seen this girl before. This isn't an actual oh, person. And yeah. that's the other thing. Yeah. When 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 Sasha Baron Cohen does this kind of shock comedy. He's, it works because, at least to a certain extent, I don't think all of it's funny, but 
to a certain extent, it works because he's he, he is aware of the of the satirical nature of it, and he's interacting with real people. Yeah, this guy's interacting with actors. Yeah, and a lot of times, scripted. And a lot of those times, those real people who he's interacting can sometimes surprise you at their response. Where sometimes he will like, you know, try to be racist about something, and then you realize that the person he's talking to. It's just as racist, and he brings that out into the forefront, like making that you're like, wow, this is genius. You know, this is crazy. Oh, oh, you're talking about Sasha yeah, Baron yeah, Cohen. Yeah, Sasha yeah. Baron Cohen, where this guy, he doesn't have that opportunity because he's already interacting with, uh, with actors. It's all scripted. And the actors are, are they're, they're terrible. They're yeah, terrible. Yeah, and you, you made a good point. When Sasha Baron Cohen does it, he's, getting, he, he, he's bringing out the true nature of people. Mm-hmm. And when this guy does it, he's. He's doing nothing because he's performing with actors, and the actors are so bad because their their reactions are, "Hey man, fuck you, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah, hey, you asshole." And it throws you out of the film because you know, you know, as human beings, as how as as far as how people would react if somebody out of the fucking blue came and just started giving you racist jokes, you know, accusing you accusing you of all these types of stereotypes. There's a good chance you're going to get knocked on your ass or pushed, or it's just going to go. It, it, it is going to explode in your face. But you have, and you don't have any of those opportunities. No. You don't see any of that. And, if it, and, and really, it's, it's the most offensive to Jews and Asians in the movie. I felt the most uncomfortable yeah. when he was doing the Asian, the Asian stuff, the Jew stuff, because there's even parts in the movie where he's not. It's not an, an amazing racist sketch. He just has Asian people in the background saying, oh, us all, aha. And, and yeah, and that's the other thing. Really? I mean, I, I was more just baffled by the fact that he managed to find actors that were okay with, you know, playing these roles. You know, <laughs> if you get anybody, yeah. look, if he can get Adrian Brody to do it, he can get some old dime a dozen uh, extra to do that's that true. shit too, Especially, man. especially the, the, the black ass bits, the black ass bits. I was just like, I was just like, wow, wow. Whoever you guys are who agreed to do this shit. I hope I hope you no longer want to work in Hollywood because I I can't see anybody really I I don't see Tyler Perry knocking down your door trying to get you into his movie but well, I, I mean, mean I'm looking at this shit and it's there's uh there's other segments in there we have actors Adrian Brody is not the only guy we have actors in, in who you didn't think no matter what kind of shitty films they've made you never thought that they would be in here Michelle Rodriguez is another person that's in here. She's the one that does the she does a segment called the uh the 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 porn review where it's two people who go into a movie theater and they review porn like Siskel and Ebert would the, review yeah, a movie. But they're they're the most racist pornos I've ever seen. <laughs> well the most well, they're, they're, they're not, not even pornos. Oh, that's the other one. Yeah, that's <laughs> another Asian thing. He, yeah. This guy really ha- has a thing for doing racist Asian comedy. Mm-hmm. He, they watch one segment that's a it's a porn movie from J- from Japan mm-hmm. and they're doing the whole thing of of they're talking Japanese, but it's dubbed, and you hear the person, "Oh, I'm going to do you doggy style." Oh, oh I'm going to do you so hard. Oh, oh yeah, you I'll like that? Over. Yes, bitch. Shut up, quiet. Yeah. Oh, you're so hard. Oh, you're and so big. You, and the whole time you're like, "Oh, okay, but what, where's what the fuck is this? Where's the funny? Yeah, where this, is it? This shit is. This shit is was barely funny in the eighties, and yeah. now you're doing this shit thinking it's shocking and it's funny. No, it's stupid. It's stupid because it's not clever. Fucking there's stupid. no, there's no. It's pointless. There's no punchline. There's no anything. No, I mean, no. it, all, all, I mean, all it's really counting on is to see how offended, you know, how offended they can get, and how, and and I, I guess they're assuming that whoever's watching it, maybe the more offensive it is, the more awkward it is. So it'll take the audience to a point of laughter for some strange reason. No, and I, and I no, just it'll take the audience to the point of that. walking out. Yeah, I mean, the, it should. <laughs> and my God, that flirty, hairy, sh- that ooh, listen, ooh. Listen, the, the, this is old. Uh, this guy did this segment when he did underground comedy. That this the the director offers shlo, shlo, shlomigo, <laughs> uh, uh, shlomi, <laughs> salami. The, yeah. He <laughs> he did this shit. Back in the, I think it was in the 90s, mm-hmm. to the point where I think that he actually took, okay, now, let's do a little setup here. Flirty Harry was actually played by Vince Offer in his original version of it. And it was this other black guy that he was acting with in, in some of the Flirty, he- Flirty Harry segments. I swear to God, man, that all he did was reshoot the Vince Offer parts so that it's replaced with 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 Adrian Brody, and he kept the other parts because that that black actor looks the same. It's filmed the same. Some of the same locations are exactly the same as it was from back then. And that would make sense because you know the guy. Obviously, when you watch the movie, you could tell it was done on the cheap. I mean, it really was. Just oh, the, oh yeah, just, just with the the cameras they were using, it was done on the cheap. Not that not that they needed thirty five millimeters to shoot this. Shit. Well, it was done with thirty five millimeters. It's just that it was. I mean, it, there's 
It, it just I mean, looked. It looked bad. I well, mean, the, you'd be surprised at how bad you can make something look when you yeah. don't. When you when you have shoddy cinematography mm-hmm. and you and you're shooting on the on the quick. But the fact that you know that this was uh, you, this used to be a skit on YouTube. I mean, even what even that Amazing Race is that that as well used to be on YouTube because I, I, really? when I was watching it, I was like, I've seen this. I've seen this guy before. And, I, and, I'm, and I'm almost positive that that was its own skit on what? YouTube for a while. So wait yeah. a minute. This motherfucker is just regurgitating all the shit that's already out there, putting it in a movie, and asking people to pay for it? Yes. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> this bitch, man! I'm, I'm, I am being, man... Th- yeah. I'm serious. I'm being, I'm being dead serious. And you heard it here. Mm. I better not ever see this motherfucker on the street. <laughs> the, he offended me so much with this movie... He offended me with his racism. He offended me with his homophobia. He offended me to some extent with his sexism. But he just flat out offended me for being fucking stupid. With being stupid it's, and lazy. Yeah. And lazy. That, that flirty, hairy shit, man. Here's an example of the humor in that. It's, it's Adrian Brody just saying one offensive sexual, homosexual innuendo after another. I'm going to stick it into those dirty assholes at some point. Mm-hmm. I'm going to stick it. And, uh, they're going to be coming hard. in. Yeah. yeah, They're going to be coming in all over your face yeah. when they, because uh, they're going to be running from me. Uh, it's, man, I'm you, coming you, hard. Yeah. yeah I'm, uh, I'm going to be on. coming so hard. Yeah. When I come to, they're gonna, not going to see me coming when I'm coming to their faces. I told you before, I am not going to wait around for a bunch of other dicks. Not when I have an opening to take those guys from the rear. Yeah. I read your report, Harry. Yeah? Yeah. I don't think you understand. Those boys were packing heat. I mean, as soon as I came, those assholes opened up. And, yeah. Opened up and started spraying everywhere. Yeah. I read that too, Harry. Sir, I know this is a heavy load. I like I realize I'm leaving you with a mess all over your face. Sometimes you gotta swallow your pride, you know? Suck it up. Oh, come on, Harry. Come on. These are just weird phrases you're using. Well, what do you now? want me to say? And, uh, and, 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 and I was, like, I was like, you know what? Um, airplane never you, uh, airplane never even went that far. At least if they tried to do it, they managed to write it in such a way it was clever. This is just not clever. It was written by a child. I mean, it really was. You te- hey, te- this movie, there is no rating. Mm. There is no rating <laughs> no. to to give something that it had a, that has that has fallen to the depths that this movie has fallen from grace. There is no, there is no fucking rating. People got mad. I, yeah, Pe- people got mad. People got mad because I posted up a video. I took it down because some people got mad because I posted up a video of me bleeding from the ass oh, after did? after watching oh, movie no. forty three. <laughs> people got mad about this, Uh-oh. but fuck you. <laughs> This movie made me bleed from my ass, man. Uh, I was I was raped. This is the one, huh? I was raped by this movie, and I'm gonna tell you something. You and people can tell Vince Alfa I said this. If I if I ever come across that motherfucker, man, I'm I'm going for him. You're good. You're gonna give, you can give it to him I'm, hard. I'm cho- I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna, that, I'm gonna stick it in that dirty I'm asshole. Stick so hard, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. He's, gonna, he's gonna get a mouthful. <laughs> oh my god. I, Is that what you're gonna do? I'm for gonna it? give it to him long and hard. <laughs> man, no, this guy. I'm gonna choke the shit out of him. Oh when man. I see well, him. I, I love I love that we failed to mention that uh, majority of these apps are also coming from the vagina of. Lindsay Lohan, Lindsay Lohan, which makes no sense. Makes no fucking sense. There's a part whatsoever. in the movie where Lindsay Lohan. Okay, we. Th- this, this is the beginning of the movie. Mm. The beginning of the movie. First of all, it sets, it, it it has uh, what was that movie? 127 hours. Mm-hmm. This movie was made when that movie was popular. Right. So they have a old 127 hours joke in there. You know the James Franco. Yeah, movie. that's the one. That's what sparked my curiosity. It's like, okay, when was this movie made again? Vince Offer passes this guy up, goes and sits in the sewer, opens up his tablet, then we go to the opening credits which opens up with guys that are riding on motorcycles. And we saw these girls in the street like, woo, the motorcycle mm-hmm. guys, woo. But then we pull back and we see all the joke is they're riding bicycles. Mm-hmm. But these people, this joke has nothing to do yeah. with the movie. I kept going, okay, is this, is this their Son of Anarchy joke? I, I don't know. The first season or something? I guess. I, I, I don't know. Why, you know. why is this funny? That joke never comes back. Not that it's funny anyway. No, not but at all. Then, but then we cut back to Vince Offer sitting in his chair. like, hmm, what should I do? Oh, let me pull out the tablet. I'm going to press this app right here. And then we cut to Lindsay Lohan, dressed like Marilyn Monroe, walking out onto the sidewalk. She passes the guy making out with the girl. The guy just forgets the girl. He starts following her. And then 
just for no reason. I, well, I guess because she's dressed like Marilyn Monroe. He's telling her, he says, oh, you look, you look just like Marilyn Monroe. And she stands over this grate. Mm. Vince Offer presses a button that makes air shoot up through the grate. And she does that Marilyn Monroe thing where the dress flies up. And, she, and he's like, oh, wow, you look just like her now. <laughs> and here's where the crazy part comes in, where we get an undershot of Lindsay Lohan's panties. Well, he has a camera. He, oh, has a ca- right. he has a camera right next to him, and he grabs a camera and he tilts it up towards the grate, and it just is. We get a just, crotch shot of a her. Crotch shot where we go into the crotch shot, and then it's almost like we're going into a ShamWow commercial where they oh. have that pink, that pink shitty ass special effect. It's a bad just, video yeah, effect yeah. that opens it's up a like a vagina's yeah, opening it up. Goes up, and we are like literally entering Lindsay Lohan's vagina in the into, movie for into no the reason. Worst comedy it takes we, place in her vagina, <laughs> yeah, for no fucking reason. It takes place in her vagina that we're controlling with an app on a iPad. I'm I don't looking I, at this I'm, motherfucker. Let, hold on, Corey. Let me do the math right now. Let me try to figure this shit out, please. The, uh, is Tom Hanks around? So we can figure out this Da Vinci Code bullshit? No, I'm looking at this motherfucker's face, right? I can't even stand his face. <laughs> this is a motherfucker that even thinks he's funny. That's why I'm beating his ass when I see him. I'm not lying. I'm coming up in that motherfucker. I'm going to say, put him up. Stand the fuck up to me, motherfucker. Wait, you're coming up in him? What? Did you see? I can't. No, I'm doing it. I'm going to come, come up to him. I'm going to come up to him so hard. I'm coming at him. It's another reason why I hate this movie. It's making me gay now. <laughs> Now, there's man. anything wrong with it. But well, anyway. hey, man, I, I, I what love. What would you rate this, man? That's I, I, no I, I love. I love at least he's using his fucking slap chop, slap chop to chop this movie together. I'm gonna slap chop that together. motherfucker yeah. when I see him. Oh, I. You know what? Ooh, yeah. There, 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 there isn't a rating that you, that you can really like that would do justice just to how bad this is. But saying that though, I still think movie forty three. Movie 43 is still at the pinnacle of that. This is just a notch, a belt notch below that crap. So, man, the, I mean, it's still, let me tell you, Wait a minute, big. You, you think that this is better than movie, movie 43 by a notch? I say a notch, Corey. I Why? A notch. This is so horrible. Movie 43 is not near. I mean, and this, I can't believe you're asking me Corey. to, like, compare two pieces of shit. Corey. I laughed a little at some of the racist stuff. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Man. I'm sorry. <laughs> they did it to you, man. They got you. They got you, man. They fucked with your mind. They, got, they finally he did got, it to you, man. He got the scotch tape and oh. he opened up the Chinese eyes so the oh, guy could brother, see they, the, man. The, the chicken on the street. You've been exposed to this shit too to long, the, man. Guy, the, and the, man, you got Stockholm when, Syndrome when now. They, when they got the, the money, they put it under the box to lure the Jews no. in there. Was, no! I didn't know what to no. do. No! No! I don't, no. Uh, I don't no. know. I ain't got nowhere else to oh, go. They got you. You, <laughs> you fucking bastard. Fuck you. You got co You got them. Fuck you. You fucking asshole. You got them. Let's go.